Good and welcome to co another video with Coating Industries. Today we are going to be showing you one of the methods to fill and seal up a roof valley with filler foam. Um, first of all, we've obviously cleaned the surfaces and made sure that it's dust and debris free. And our next move is to begin with the filling process. So we'll start off here a bit and run it all the way down to till the end and let it cure and dry. After that point in time we'll cut it with a hacksaw blade and sand it down to get the, the finish that we require. And from there we shall then coat it with Coating Industries Rubber Coat Liquid Rubber. First game done. As you now can see, the entire valley has now been filled with filler foam that now needs to cure and dry over the next two to three hours. Once that is obviously complete and dry and fully cured and hard, we shall then uh, trim it down with a Stanley blade and a hacksaw blade to get the shape that we're wanting. And after that we will then coat it with the liquid rubber to make sure that it has a watertight seal and hopefully alleviate all the problems that have arisen from this leaking valley. Now that the filler foam is dried and is hard enough, we will now sit here and trim it with this uh, hacksaw blade to get the relevant slope and angle that we, that we require. This will just allow the water to flow easily without any obstacles for the water to be caught on. Make sure that everything is flush and level to the best of our ability before we apply paint. I will be back in a moment once I've done the rest of the roof here. As you can see now, we have now completed the trimming of the expander foam in the valley, getting the guideway for the water to run down. All is now in order and ready for paint. We'll now start applying a liberal amount of paint as a first coat to this to make sure that it becomes saturated. And once touch dry, we will apply a second coat to the filler foam, and that should ensure our valley is fully sealed and protected. Once I've finished with all of this, we'll be back with 
the final end result. Now that our first coat has been applied successfully, we shall now allow this to dry. Once completed with the drying process there, we will apply a second coat in the morning and our job is then successfully complete and all the water leaks have been stopped. This is another video from Coating Industries. Thank you again for watching.